Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac a Rebirth. We had a bit of a crash in the last episode, but what have we learned from Textport? Only record for half an hour, take a pause, and by Friday that should, that problem should be patched out. But of course, this is all null and void. This new run. The Lost. We did it, guys. I put this on the end of the last episode, which is in case you didn't see and you need a recap. We did it. We got Godhead. We beat the Lost. We never have to play as the Lost again. I am very excited about that. And you know what? As stated in the previous episode, we've got some challenge runs to finish off. So, why don't we finish some of them off? Let's do the host. I don't know what the host is, but let's do it. There'll be no seed because these do not stack with seeds. We've got the tick. Let's have a look what we've got. Tick and Spider Babby, Spider's Revenge. Okay, fair enough. That's not really what I would call a great start. You know, I'm hoping that we can get some uh, some other... Oh wait, we've got the mulligan. How are we making flies? Oh sorry, we've got the mulligan and Spider Revenge. Alright, there you go. Tick is not a the tick is not an item, the tick is a trinket sparrow, don't be stupid. Yes, yes it is. How far do we have to go? I don't know how far we have to go. Hopefully only to Mon, because this is no way anywhere near a strong enough cell to, to take out Mom's heart. You know, it'll probably make us go to it. Hopefully we can get some deals with the devil to alleviate the problem of our damage and hopefully we can beat the uh, run first go, because don't want to jinx it, you know, touch touch wood. But we have beaten every... Yeah, sure. That spirit heart is huge. We have beaten every challenge run first go without without fail, so hopefully the streak can continue. We'll see. We will see. Now, let's fight the Widow. Hopefully the Mulligan will... Uh... Our damage isn't bad when the fly gets in there. Oh, God, we were going so slow there. But yeah, our damage isn't too bad when the fly gets in there, but I would like something... A little bit more, just that little bit more. There you go, Mulligan. Get you, get the flies in there. Get the get the deeds on. And then we will finish off the widow. Hopefully, we don't get the haunt on the second floor. We get an easy boss. Easy boss equals not losing this spirit heart. Not losing this spirit heart equals a deal with the devil. So yeah, don't lose the other half of it, or you'd be screwed, Spyro. Because I think we're definitely going to need a deal with the devil. That HP up grade is huge, that means that we've definitely got the HP to trade for a good deal with the devil, possibly even two. Well, I'm shaking in my boots, we've been put down into the cellar. The cellar can easily equal the horn. Let's not worry about it right now. I hate when there's two of these assholes together. They can very easily do that. Right, so now we can't take damage at all, or we'll lose the deal with the devil precedent. So, if, if we find the shop, I would go to it to buy a spirit heart. I would. I know we need one penny to do that. No, you never know, it could be on offer. There's the shop. Mullaboom, 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 mullaboom. Fuck. Well, there goes our deal with the devil. God on it, mullaboom. And that's just, that's just a joke at that point. That's just a cruel joke at that point. Alright then. Fair enough. I mean, we could still get one if we don't take damage on the boss, which that could be very likely, but... Taking damage on the floor just usually means that you don't get one at all. Which is... Kind of tosh, but it's alright. It's okay. There's our boss. Let's just see what happens. Let's see what happens before we start the rage train on the challenge run. So, little uh, little Diglett dude, I'm gonna need you to, to be deceased. See we're fighting, I bet it's the horn. It's Pin, okay, Pin's easy. We won't take damage on Pin. Wherever he is. That's good. But I think we will I don't think we'll get one because we already took damage on the floor. But we'll see. We'll stand here for a second, see where Pin is. And then when Pin comes over, hopefully we can spawn some more flies to deal damage to him. Where are you coming from, Pin? Oh, you're gonna do that again? Fair enough. Barn bar me. That was another beautiful, beautifully placed fly. Watch out for him. Is he gonna jump again? He is. He's jumping again. And Pin should be nearly dead. You know, I've noticed something about Pin. 
he doesn't actually have to, you don't have to deplete all of his health bar for him to die. Like, see how he's got about a uh, tenth left? Yeah, look, he just explodes when there's only a tenth left. As predicted, no deal with the devil. That frustrates me. I kind of don't want to explore, if I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of just want to get down to the next floor and get see if we can get to the deal with the devil on that floor. Well, we will explore, because there could be magic mushrooms in these mushrooms. That's why I'm going to blow them up. Well, there was a mini mush. I'm happy with the mini mush. It knocks it out of the rotation. It just makes the magic mush all the more likely to show up. And is it worth searching everywhere else? Yeah, there could be curse rooms. Would you lose the spirit heart to go to the curse room? Yeah. Could be devil items in the curse room. Is it worth it? No. Now, you may be saying, Sparrow, you're being a bit stupid here. I am, but seems we've already taken the damage. Three red chests is big. Three red chests is huge. Is there a spirit heart in the shop to keep me protected? Because if we can get these three red chests, I think it might have paid, it might be worth it. Oh, there is, there is. So we've got a spirit heart to keep us alive. And if these red chests pay out, all the places we can go, people. Places we can go. First chest. Two spirit hearts. It's good. Is it pen? Yeah, it's pen. And you know what? We'll just pop the magician because there's no, there's no real need to keep it. Because the magician is garbage anyway. So we'll pick up the spirit heart. And now we're building up a nice selection of spirit hearts. If we can get a horror battle on out of deal with the devil. Might not be too bad. What's in this chest? Another spirit heart. It's good. It's big. It'll certainly at least give us a deal with the devil on the next floor. I don't see us losing four spirit hearts. It's huge. So we'll just continue to kill Pin, and I think we've got the widow after Pin. I've never really fought in a, a second floor boss trap room that often. I think the widow comes after Pin. We'll certainly find out soon enough. Pin should die on his uh, his next leap. He's got a tenth of his health left, yep. Oh. Gurglings. Gurglings, eh? Well, we'll keep on this one, because this is the one we've done the most damage to. I don't like that one that's coming in at me. Oh, I'm trapped. Creeps blocking me in. Right, let's get this gurgling dead. Gurgling, there you go, all dead. Are the spirit heart's really worth it, Sparrow? Yeah, I think so. I think it'll keep us alive. Or deal with the devil on the next floor. Let's go down, shall we? Need to take a drink as well. Throat's, uh, throat's a little bit dry this morning. But yeah, that was... It was a risk. Yeah, we might as well pick that up now. Well, it was a risk. Well, it was a risk, well... Really, I've got no juice in that bowl. Oh, here's the... I knew I brung one up, I was about to say. Mmm. Good stuff. Right, mob trap room, more red chests. There's one. I'd rather find the boss first. I want to keep as many spirit hearts alive as possible to guarantee ourselves deal with the devil. And you know, the, the catacombs aren't easy. There could be any kind of enemy that is just a dick hole in one room to screw us over. So we're going to find the deal with the devil first. Ace of spades would be a great trinket if we could pick it up. Like this room here. An asshole room, but luckily the greed jumped into the fire, so did half the work for me. I'm very grateful for that. Uh, money. I want money here. Let me just readjust my audio. There we go. <clears throat> I want money here to try and get into the shop to try and buy the coin purse. The coin purse would be, or is it just mom's regular purse? The one that allow, allows you to carry two trinkets will be very huge for us because be able to keep the tick and take things like the ace of spades down with us we'll see this is a dark green guy you're gonna explode Go on, you're gonna explode I know you are explode. explode really you're not exploding there you go two bombs and half a heart well the half heart's gonna start taking us back to full health which is fine it'll help should we ever lose said spirit hearts this room is a bit dickish Oh, I could just get this guy dead. 
then we run this way and get rid of this guy. Very easy. Another bomb. We should start looking for the secret room. Seems we've got all these bombs, and there is certainly locations where the secret room would be. At least one. Maybe. That's a that's a gap. So I'm not sure if it would be here. So we'll continue to explore. Even if there was a room above us, that was dumb damage. Even if there was a room above us, it's gapped off either way. There's a room below us, but it's still gapped off. Can you, like, chuck a bomb here? Thank you. Saves me wasting a bomb. Good! Oh, watch out for you. Watch out for you. Let's, uh, go. Let's go. Right, money! A key! That's not money! Now I'm starting to, now we're starting to get in, up into the edges here. No shop means, or no, yeah, no money for shop I guess. We could get into the shop, we have the keys necessary. No shop means no good shop items like the, like mom's purse. The stopwatch, all these items would really help if we've got to go all the way down to Satan. I don't know how far we've got to go down, I should have looked at the... Thing. We'll look at the thing next time we kill a boss. All of these... You know what? We'll, we'll still open the shop anyway. Oh, the compass! The compass is big! The compass is very big. If we could find out how to get the compass, that'd be good. That'd be big plays. So, we will attempt everything in our power to get 15 cents for the compass. Don't explode in my face. You are dark green, and dark green ones explode in your face. So if we can just take him out from a distance, I'll take out this one, whichever one's designed to chase me down. Probably this one. And we'll take out this little dude. And we'll take out this dude. And hopefully the boss will be right around the corner. We've done well to keep the spirit hearts alive. I'll pick up that key just before that guy blows up. Right, there's the boss. And we're in bullshit land with these muller booms. Kind of figured out how to. Yeah, there you go. I was gonna say I've kind of figured out how how to to escape more boom hell there. I'm gonna explode. Oh, thank you for revealing the second secret room. I appreciate that. Let's see what's in there. Red chess. Oh, it's just hearts. It's just hearts. They mean nothing to me. Pestilence. At least it's not the pestilence that shoots bombs. I guess. We're still gonna make dick jumpy spiders. We can leap across the screen. Right, pestilence, I need you to just give me a deal with the devil, buddy. We're starting to get behind the eight ball here. You know, Mulligan, we we did go through two floors, so we could say the Mulligan's from one floor and Spider Revenge is from another floor, but they're not improving our damage in any way, so we need, uh, we need to deal with the devil. We're starting to get behind the eight ball just a little bit. Not too much right now, but just a little bit. I need you... Uh, I need you to pay out with a deal with the devil here, Pestilence, and I need the deal with the devil to not be Krampus. Or we're, we're kind of screwed. At least Pestilence has got himself trapped in a corner, which is fine by me. Makes it very easy to hit him, very easy to take him down. Especially if he just loop makes his spiders in the corner as well. Pestilence is dead. All the bandages, extra defense, deal with the devil. Dark bomb is okay. He'll give us the hearts necessary to survive. So we'll take him. And that sets deal with the devil precedent. But it's not what we need. It's not the it's not the game breaking item that we need. So we'll head back to that mob trap room and fight for that red chest, because that red chest may have a uh, cup of paw, may have something amazing. Well the secret room's gotta be here. Even though it's like yeah, I don't know. Where the hell's the secret room? Ah, oh, fuck it, you get one key. Red chest. Nah, I didn't think so. Asshole. Where the hell's the secret room? It could only be... In that gap. I don't know. Maybe they're just in the secret room on this floor. Probably is, and it's probably in a... Oh, come on! Oh, this was a waste. This was a waste. Alright. We'll just fight three ways for nothing. Red chest, you did me wrong. You did me bad. This is a challenge run. I need every advantage I can get. I can't have homing troll bombs in red chest, you dick. It's alright. 
can do it. We'll just have to look how far down we're going. If we're going all the way to Mom's heart, that is a terrifying prospect with the with the equipment we have. You know, a ball of bandages ain't going to change the world. It might block a few shots, boys. It's, uh, it's not going to change the world if we've got to go all the way down to Mom's heart. But we'll see. Hopefully, this is only going down to Mom because we've certainly not got the we certainly not got the gusto to get all the way to Mom's heart. I don't think. Let's wave. This guy, this guy's easy. So at least it was three easy waves. I just blatantly walked into that. That was terrible damage to take. Blood Dark Bum will start paying out with red hearts. Oh my god. We should make him eat all of the red hearts. Even though he pay out with red hearts in the top secret room. We should make him eat all the red hearts and then just like pay out with a shit ton of spirit hearts in the other room. Oh, that'd be brilliant. Genius. Let's go, Dark Bomb. I've got, a, I've got a big treat for you. I've got a really big treat for you. Would it be here because it's attached to a second secret room? It doesn't seem likely. No, I didn't think so. Do we blow up mushrooms? I guess we'll blow up a few mushrooms to see if we can find the magic mushroom. Found Liberty Cap. Can't take that with us because we got the tick. And we got a pill. Good pill. Full health. Well, it's nice to know it's in the rotation. Right, Dark Bomb. Go take every single heart. Don't come back to me until you've picked up every single heart. And once we pick up every single heart, we will leave and you will pay out very handsomely, my friend. Right, he's got all the hearts. Now, you can't do it in this room. Really? Really? Three shit spiders? I hate the nerf to Dart Bomb. Thanks for the black heart. Could have paid out with more, you dick. Fucking Dart Bomb nerf, paying out with spiders all the time. Right, it does look like we've only got to make it to Mom. That's doable. Oh, can't get in there. Making it to Mom seems very doable. You know, you don't need you don't need like. You don't need any items that change the world to beat Mom. If you're experienced enough as a player, that's huge. So I think now we're one away from the HP cap. So Curse of the Unknown won't make that much difference to us. But, yeah, the, um... I would love to find a blood bank somewhere along the line to get into that boss trap room as well. But, but yeah, you know, if you're an experienced enough player, that was bad. If you're an experienced enough player, you don't need game-breaking items to kill Mom. It's just Mom. It's not Mom's heart that fires a million lasers or anything. It's just Mom. So I think we have the potential to win here. We're going to need maybe just one item. Just like one extra damage up to make sure that Mom doesn't take a thousand hours. We're now at ten hearts. We've lost two HP that or two hits. That means we're at ten hearts. Just got to keep my eye on... I hate how bonies can throw diagonal. They're amazing throwers. Props to them, but they are such amazing throwers here. I would love to get in, get in that little corridor over there and drop a drop a bomb with uh, these four mushrooms. Are you know what? We'll drop a bomb here as well, just to get some of these silkworms out of the way and check for a secret room. The secret room was not there, but it cleared the room a lot faster, so I don't mind. I was happy to do that. And I will use one bomb here to get all three mushrooms. Hopefully. And one bomb here to get all three mushrooms. Hopefully. Nothing! Alright, we'll move on. Come on, get that key without flying. And the secret room could also be... Yeah. So we'll check while we're killing these dudes. It's not... My god, bonies! They're just too amazing with these bones! There we go. So, no secret rooms there and there. So we'll keep, we'll keep rolling here. Oh, I hate this room. I hate this room, especially with no damage. This room's not good. Try and take out one, try and take out one. Oh my god, it takes forever to take out one. We're screwed in the ass. Especially because, like, the second one dies, it's like, oh, I'm out of here, dudes. Mulligan, Mulligan, help me, help me. Don't even kill that one. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Get down into you, say, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Right, the mulligan fly managed to kill him. That's fine. As long as we can kill one of them, it makes it a lot simpler. 
Love for this one. Hey, thank you, Ball Bandages. Knocked him down so you stay and finished him off. Good thing, Ball of Bandages. Good job. We're going to fly. Nope. Yes, we got it. We dropped a key. Key equals shop. I don't know why I would open the shop. I guess just to see if we can find anything useful. We got a penny. So we'll see what's in the shop. Greed. Well, greed allows us to get into the shop on the next floor, so I'm not perturbed about that. Nine and a half hearts. I want to take too much damage because I need to keep some spirit hearts alive for the boss for a chance to deal with the devil. It's alright. We are doing little damage to greed, this is why deal with the devil now has to, you know, dark bum's great, but deal with the devil now has to start paying out with... Yeah, that's fine, it still makes everything seven cents. But yeah, deal with the devil now has to start paying out with damaging items. Dark bum's great, because he can do this. Just take all these hearts. I need, I need, uh, damage items. Don't you dare pay out with spiders, you little shit. There we go. This was not the way to the... Oh, oh there goes half of that spirit heart. This was not the way to the boss. That's fine. I would love for this room to drop the bomb, because we have another location where the secret room could be. And the more we find the secret rooms, the more we could change. Secret rooms can have epic fetus in them, they can have an ankh to bring us back to life. Like Lotus for 3 HP. We've got a lot of things that could happen in the secret room. Just need to find it. I mean, it could also just be money for the shops or those four guys that you blow up with bombs, but at the same time, it could make some good stuff happen. So, we'll check over this way for our boss. No! Okay! We went all the wrong directions. Again. It's a room full of I lose guys. I'm sorry it's going to take like a thousand years because we've not got any damage out of the devil right now. But hopefully that will change on this floor. Try and take out this Eiffel 1 at first. Or if you can't take out the Eiffel 1 because they're all just going to run around and protect him. Oh, he's trying to do some sneaky and come the other way. Take him down, take him down. Right, there's that, there's the biggest asshole dead. And if we can knock all of these into Ooze State. Should be easy to take them out one by one now. Well, these two should go down into that ooze states fairly quickly and make it easy to finish off. There we go. And... There we go. Ooh. Sure. I think we've got enough spirit hearts to keep that alive. I think we've got way more than enough spirit hearts to keep that alive, actually. Uh, do we go through the mob trap room? Was there a red chest in there? Oh no, it's a boss trap room. What if there was a blood bank on this floor? Now you'd feel like a dumbass. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. You know what? It's okay. It's alright. I would kind of think about losing it, but I wouldn't be too sure. We didn't bring five cents down to this floor, so I don't think there is going to be a blood bank. There'd have to be one just randomly sitting in the next room. That's all yours. That bum. There you go. There's a curse room. We'll go to it after the boss room. Because I don't know how many spirit hearts we have. I wouldn't want to risk it until we've been to the boss. Oh, okay, well that's bad damage. That's just real bad damage. One of the turrets is dead. You're dead. And... Dude, you need to go. Come on, you need to go. We've explored this entire floor. Time to go, buddy. There you go. Boss room! Still no boss room, oh my word. This is a long catacombs too. You gonna charge? Nope, we managed to kill you before you charge. Good stuff. And then get rid of you. I really hate these challenge runs because it makes you. I mean, I don't hate them, they're still good, but. Like, my commentary suffers because I have to focus so intently. Because if we don't pick up a deal with the devil, here's the problem bombs. A bomb. I potentially find the secret room with that. But here's the problem. I, oh, it's a double boss room. Oh no. Oh no. But yeah, if we don't get anything out of this deal with the devil, my commentary suffers because I have to try so goddamn hard to keep us alive. Because, you know, this, even if you're an experienced player and you did everything as a loss, which is no easy feat, don't get me wrong, I, I played my arse off to make Godhead appear. But even if you get Godhead, it's no easy feat to, to like get through all the way to Mom with just nothing but your base damage. And a couple of flies. So, oh god, double dingle, really. Double dangle. Double dangle. 
two dangles that can charge at the same time and shoot bullets. At least the room's big enough to, to deal with them. Possibly. I'm going to try and, like, roll around and take out the ones that are out of breath. And hopefully we can get some flies being out of, or some flies going on here to, to be out of breath. Or, sorry, get some flies to, to take out the ones that are out of breath. There's damage on the boss. It's not red heart damage, but we still had at least one spirit heart. But it's still damage against the boss, which may have just absolutely screwed our deal with the devil. Which annoys me. Because if we're not going to get a deal with the devil, we're going down to... Fuck. We're going down to potentially Necropolis with no damage. And that's just uh, that's just really bad to go down to the Necropolis with just base damage. It's where your, it's where your run's going to... Drastically suffer. Right, I think one dingle's dead. One dingle's dead. The equation becomes a lot simpler. Not very much simpler. Okay, he's shooting a five way. And shooting a five way. And dead, mate. Oh my god. Come on. Just barely died. No deal with the devil, because we talk. Oh god. Appreciate that one. No deal with the devil though. No deal with the devil going down to Necropolis. Possibly, but I mean it could be the depths, but most likely Necropolis. That's uh, pretty darn bad. I would hope for this curse room to either contain a good devil item or at least teleport us to the devil room. Because we're running out of options. It contains Guppy's paw. We don't have a space bar item, so we'll just totally take it with us. We can use it even if we um can't use it effectively, or we won't use it effectively right now. We can basically use it as like a continual spirit heart generator. So if we get down to red hearts, we can just, oh sorry, if we get down to one red heart, we can get into the boss room. Now, but secret room, no, it can't be attached to there. So it has to be attached to here. I hate Curse of the Unknown because I don't know how much health I've got. I potentially think about sacrificing like Spirit Hearts to make it happen, but it's not worth it. We'll just attempt for a magic mushroom, maybe. A pill. You would see. Alright, well we'll leave. We'll go down to the next floor where we could potentially get screwed. But luckily, if we get down to one red heart, we can just start eating Guppy's paws basically have more health than we're allowed because oh no he knocked off all 12 hearts but now I've got another three hearts out of Guppy's paw you knocked off those three hearts now I've got another three hearts out of Guppy's paw so we've effectively got like double the health and it does look like we've only got to make it through mom so we shouldn't be too bad we are getting to 28 minutes so don't do that Spyro don't full screen I hope that doesn't screw up the recording you know what I'm going to take a pause just to make sure that, that doesn't screw up the recording and we're back I know it's, it hadn't screwed up the recording, but hey, no point in risking it if we're going for it, if we've got to like, pause it every 30 minutes anyway, just to make sure we don't get that bug where it just completely crashes. Once again, that'll be patched out on Friday, so that'll be that'll be perfectly timed, because we'll be playing some Skyrim on Friday, and oh, well, we'll be playing a bit of it, a bit of it, and then on Saturday, obviously, will be the big Skyrim videos, but that'll be fine, because we'll play Skyrim over the weekend, and by the time we come back on Monday, the problem will be fixed. We're just going to try and find our boss as fast as possible. Hope to not take damage on this boss. Hope to get just one deal with the devil that will push us over the top to, to be able to take out mom nice and easily. Like, a mom's knife would be enough to kill mom. Beyond that, we may struggle. I don't think we'll struggle. Boom for, Dark Bomb is the unsung hero. Dark Bomb, thanks for the golden key. Dark Bomb has given us, like, maximum HP. I'm sure there'll be more red heart drops on this floor. Oh my god, this room. I'm sure there'll be more red hearts on this floor for Dark Bomb to, to start paying out. I like how he was trying, like he's hovering over the pit because he's trying to go th for the for the actual look at him, trying to actually eat the big hearts. Dark Bomb, if you could eat those big hearts and kill a mass of infamy, I wouldn't mind, buddy. But unfortunately, you can't. It's a key, but we've got unlimited keys for this floor, so it doesn't matter too much right now. That was dumb damage to take. I know, that was actually just my stupid fault. Let's go in the shop. Broken stopwatch for seven cents. It could slow mom down. I'm happy with it. Uh, spirit heart to keep us alive. I'm happy with it. 
If we can get one more penny, I'd buy the box of cards for this floor. Should have used the hermit, shouldn't I? Are we on one? Yeah, we're on one. We still got another floor to go before we get to mom. So we continue. Not to the boss. Basically, at this point, probably just looking for the boss and then looking to rush the rest of the floors. I know there could be a curse room with devil items, but at this point, if we're only so close, if we're so close, might as well just go for it. Maybe, maybe we should explore the rest of the floor. Another double boss room? Are you shitting me? Well, I hope Broken Stopwatch works. I hope Broken Stopwatch doesn't actually speed the room up, or we're gonna be screwed. What can be a double boss on the depths? Double haunt sparrow. Ah, oh, piss. No, it's a vertical room. It can't be double haunt. Double haunt is a horizontal room, so I'm okay with that. What can be a vertical? Oh no, double fallen. Can double fallen appear anywhere, or can it just appear on the womb? Guess we're about to find out. Double Gertie Junior. Double Big Gertie Junior. Ah, oh, piss. All right. Broken stopwatch has partly worked. It's not like the full slow, but they do seem to be moving slower than usual, so I'm okay with that. I am more than okay with that. It's very hard to keep track of where they both are, though. Oh, thank you, Broken Stopwatch, for half speed. It may not be the complete slow, but it's half speed. There's one up there that's probably going to charge at me. Oh, my God, I'll just get rid of one of them. Because, again, even though it's Spirit Heart damage, I took Spirit Heart damage on the last floor, which wasn't Red Heart damage. And it still counted as damage, so we didn't get a deal with the devil. So I'm trying my damnedest to not take any kind of damage whatsoever, but it ain't fucking easy against Gurdy Jr. Two big Gurdy Juniors that take a lot of HP to take down. I have a lot of HP that are hard to take down, I should say. Especially because we're still using Isaac's base damage with a couple of flies, and a couple of flies ain't going to change the world in, in this kind of fight. Thank you, Gurdy Jr., for killing that. That nuts like fly. Come on, one of you's gotta be dead soon. One of you's gotta go down soon! Well, the devil took me down to Georgia. Oh, God. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? There's you, but where's your friend? Where's your friend? Oh, please. One of you needs to go. One of you needs to go. Right now. At least know where you both are. Knowing where you both are brings me comfort. Well, it doesn't bring me that much comfort when you're bouncing off one another like assholes. Look at their health. Look at their health. One of you must be close to death. One of you has to go. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. One of you has to go. I don't like being in Buttfuck Alley here. Are you serious? They're still both alive. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Don't lose it right now. There, one's dead. One's dead. That makes it a whole lot easier. That makes it so, so much easier. You give me a deal with the devil right now. Take the HP. I'm going to trade it all away. Demon baby, eh? Demon baby, eh, Satan? I mean, I'll take him. He's alright. He'll do a little bit of extra damage. I asked for a little bit of extra damage, I mean, I would prefer the mom's knife and brimstone, you know. Something along them lines, but it's alright. I'll take him. <laughs> what a dick, Satan. What a dick. So we'll move onwards, we'll have a quick look for a curse room. Uh, quick look for a curse room, and then we'll just leave. You know, there could be a boss trap room, but we haven't got, like, any kind of way of getting into the boss trap room, because Guppy's Paul won't activate, because we're on full health. A key got unlimited keys for this floor, but sure, we'll take it down for the next floor. We could open those two chests in the mob trap room. It would give us Bob's brain. I could use Bob's brain for one floor. The explosion damage would be nice. Very nice. Thank you for slowing the bonies. They're probably, like, my worst enemy. Because they can just bend the bones so easily. Whatever. We'll continue on. Some zombie masks. That was bad damage. I'm sure red hearts will appear. Very bad damage. I'm sure red hearts will appear. Over this way, you know what? I can't be asked. It's, it's just too it's too much to ask for to go all around this floor for a curse room that may not be there. We could take out mom with what we've got. We could. I'm just gonna get out of the way of this bomb. 
No, there was nothing this way. So then when we walk back in, we'll explore this pathway, because we're on this pathway and we'll be heading back up anyway, but... Can't really be bothered to do my due diligence because I think we've got enough to take out mom. Demon baby will be enough. We'll just try and get and Cuban meat will. Like when the foot drops, we'll just try and get Cuban meat right up in the in the legs grill without getting damaged. Let's screw it, let's just go. So uh bomb if you wanna explode. No, alright. It's fine by me. Just get rid of this guy. We might pay out with a bomb, we might have one attempt to find a secret room or something, but not doesn't matter. We're just gonna we're just gonna book it to the final floor, or what I hope is the final floor. Yeah, go on, one friend, pay out with a heart for me. No, all right, let's just just go. Let's book it. Again, could search everywhere. It's just floor. Oh, go on then. We will. No, we won't. We won't. I'm lazy. Sorry for my laziness, but it's a challenge run. We're only one floor away from the end. Let's just go. Because I know it definitely indicates... Well, yeah, we've got 7 cents, we should buy the deck of cards, see if we get, like, a decent card. Because if we get, like, the Empress for Mom, that'd be alright. we got the tower. The tower might actually be fantastic against Mom, if we're going to be honest, because we could just drop bombs everywhere and blow her up. It might blow me up in the process, but... Hey, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Let's go. If we find Mom, we go to her. I know that the map definitely indicates Mom's heart if we had to go down to Mom's heart, which we don't. Curse of the Unknown. Good stuff. Of course, she'd give me Curse of the Unknown. I don't mind Curse of the Unknown. I can deal with that. We're at pretty much full health, and we've got a guppy spore, which we can pop if we think we're going to die. So we'll just try and find Mom and take out Mom. It doesn't matter if we don't find curse rooms. doesn't matter if we don't find shops. This is the last floor now. Let's just get it done. Let's just get it over with. Then that'll be, uh, that'll be another challenge run in the bag. May do another challenge run, may not, I don't know yet. We'll find out after this challenge run how I feel. Let's just go. Key, thanks. I'm not even going to pick up the key. I can't use that bomb for anything. You know what? I honestly don't mind if I get teleported out of this room. But I'm not going to lose the health. You know what? Teleport me out of the room. Or don't teleport me out of the room. Fair enough. If you're not going to teleport me out of the room, then I won't fight it. Normally. Pill. Was that a speed up pill? I can't remember. Full health! Shame I can't see my health, I'd rather just use the tower on the boss. Boss! No boss. Alright. It's okay. It's okay. No boss is fine. Uh, I have put myself in Buffer Valley. Yep. Saw that coming. Saw that coming a mile away. But again, we've got a guppy support to just give us a load of health if we need it. I'm going to try to not take damage on Mom, but I'm, you can tell that because I'm on a challenge run and, like, I'm having to focus and my commentary's going, like, kind of shitty, I'm getting a bit lazy because I'm taking dumb damage, which is very easily avoided. Like, you know, found the shot, but it's like I just want to just want it over and done with now. Let's just, let's just go. Let's just get it done. Get it done. That was a nice shot through those two skulls. What's in here? Oh, it's huge. Black candle. I can't buy it, I don't have the money. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I don't have the money. Now I would explore every floor. Oh, shit. Now I would explore every room just to get black candle and to a lesser extent red candle. Oh no. Give me a dime. Drop a five drop a five pence. If you can drop a dime or a nickel, that'd be great. A nickel would be fantastic. A nickel and a penny. No, you're just not going to drop money on this floor now, are you? You're just not going to drop money at all because you know that I want the black candle. I can, I see how it is, Troll Engine. I know your ways. I know your ways. One of these is going to explode in my face. Yep. Luckily, we avoided the damage twice. Baby, do some good work. You scare me. Especially when we get right up in enemies' faces like this. That's okay. If that champion over there pays out with a dime, it'll all be worthwhile. Pays out with a battery! Can't do anything with Guppy Spore. I would walk. I will walk this way to, to get the... Uh, I will walk that way to get the penny. Every penny will be important. Black and red candles. Right, that's, what, that's two guys dead. 
Oh, killed everything. Where's the boss? Do we just take on the boss? Uh... Nah, I kinda wanna just... Yeah, fuck it. We'll use go for four if we need to. Well, thanks for the tinted rock right off the bat. Get the cube of meat right up in her face. Perfect. That was a good, uh... That was a good cube of meat. Get the cube of meat right up in her face. Perfect. And then... Cube of meat, cube of meat, cube of meat. Keep draining the health. We've won. We've won. You know what? Just to be sure, we'll pop up his ball to give us an extra three hearts. We couldn't quite get the cube of meat rotated correctly there. I'll get the cube of meat rotated correctly. It was a good, uh, good use. I'll just use Guffy's paw again. Just keep, uh, keep this, keep this ball of bandages going, and Mom's dead. So we'll pick up Polaroids, and we'll touch the trophy. Technology point five has appeared in the basement. Sweet, that is, uh, that is another run down. Perfect. Challenges, challenges. What challenges do we have to do? The host is done. Beans, it's in the cards, and Demo Man and Highbrow. Hmm. All very interesting. Maybe we'll do Highbrow as well, get that finished off. But either way, it was a bit of a tricky run because we were basically Isaac's base damage all the way to Mob, but unsung hero there was Ball of Bandages and Dark Bomb basically. Dark Bomb gives us the health to tank it. Ball of Bandages just come in and rip Mom apart. That was really good. I'm happy with that. That's another challenge from down. So, thank you all for watching this episode of Let's Play The Binding Lies at Rebirth. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. If you're enjoying the series, feel free to subscribe. I'll see all of you in the next one.